throughout my entire time here on YouTube, I've only ever made desk setups for myself. And it's safe to say it's one of the things that I enjoy the most, making a space that invites creativity and pushes you to do your best work. It's also just fun designing a room. So for my girlfriend's birthday, I was thinking about all the normal stuff that I would get for her. Switch games, Pokemon socks, cute pin badges, and all those sorts of things. But I've done those for years, and now that we have our own place together, I thought why not turn her somewhat messy getting ready slash office room into an actual space where she can still do all of that, but get some work done too. Kelly also makes YouTube videos and is part of a podcast too, so there's a few bits of tech in the room that needs sorting as well, mainly so she stopped borrowing mine but also so things are just really easy to plug in, set up and go. And of course I had to keep all of this a secret until her birthday so I asked her to go out on the day before so I could get everything sorted. So this is Callie's room at the moment. As you can see it just kind of turned into a bit of a mess but the ideas are here. There's this nice pegboard thing here and some cool designs and she's got loads and loads of really nice prints. So uh, we're going to sort out the room today and turn it into something a lot nicer so she can actually use it. She also absolutely loves baby metal. It's baby metal stuff absolutely everywhere. This is just full of baby metal bits. Baby metal, baby metal, baby metal. There's a, a baby metal lunchbox somewhere there, I think. But yeah, t-shirts and everything. So I think we're going to have to do something baby metal as well. Okay, so this is the plan that I drew up. However, if we go back to the picture, it might be a little bit more obvious of what I want to do. So this is how the room currently is. What I'd like to do is to move this desk over to here, as I've got noted there, so it goes along the back. I want to remove this Calax unit because it's just too big and it's not really doing much. I want to get the shelves up on the wall here and to fill it with all her stuff and all those little trinkets and things like that and to get uh, pictures on the wall. Also want to use these kind of metal grids to put them up on the wall too. I think they can be really cool. They're currently sitting on the desk over there, but to get them on the wall would be really good. And if we go back to the plan, this is kind of what I'd like it to look like. So desk at the back, the new Ikea chair there, more of her prints and pictures up on the wall, to move the mirror, to get that new Calax unit down the bottom right, and then to put those mesh sort of things up on the wall too. I was debating upgrading her Mac to one of the new M1 versions, but for the 1080p video editing and podcasting she does, it really is overkill. This plan did end up changing quite a lot though, so I'll show you the real room now, but if you're enjoying the video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot more than you think it does, and it means I can keep making videos like this one. So after a day of work, I finished the room and I was actually super happy with how it came out. So let's take a tour. Starting with the desk, which was already here. This is another Ikea build that echoes my own. So we've got the Alex drawers on the left, a trestle on the right, and this time a Linmon tabletop to keep everything white. So far, it hasn't needed any other support and it's not held down by anything other than its own weight, but I have seen reports of this tabletop bowing in the middle over time if there is a lot of weight on it, so keep that in mind if you're looking for something similar. The main feature of the desk is a 13-inch base MacBook Pro from 2015. As I have said before, this has been an excellent computer over the time it's been used, and it still serves its purpose as a podcasting and 1080p video editing station just fine. It's also got that wonderful pork selection from heaven. Kelly has this rainbow keyboard protector on the keyboard and a cat sticker on the back to make it her own. To the left I've got her a Rode NT USB mini so podcasting is now a plug and play affair. Beforehand we were using a sound card, microphone, XLR cables, really the lot, but it's a little full on just for simple voice recording. The NT USB mini basically consolidates all of those things into one, meaning the setup is now crazy simple. Next to that is a Bluetooth speaker from Ikea which I picked up on a whim while I was there and it sounds pretty good and it just fits the aesthetic of the room really nicely. To the right of the MacBook I grabbed this Animal Crossing mug from Nintendo's online store and made a place for her camera. This is the Canon G7X Mark II which is a really great little vlogging camera for 1080p or even just to get into YouTube with. It doesn't have a microphone jack which is a shame but the internal microphone is good enough. Kelly has made a ton of videos of this and they've all been totally fine. She also has a Canon 70D for other more full on videos, but it doesn't get used as much so that's just been packed away. Of course to tie the whole desk together is the new Langfall chair in pink with an Animal Crossing cushion on it. Behind the desk is the new smaller Calax unit, I managed to get all of that baby metal stuff onto one shelf and the more interesting bits are on top. 
And as a benefit, everything that was in the larger Kallax unit has been condensed into this. I moved the mirror to the corner of the room and whacked some lights on there too. Again, those are from Ikea. And I also popped these baby metal masks on the wall because they look pretty cool there. One of the best additions has been the shelving on the right hand side of the wall next to the desk. I filled this up with lots of little things I found around the room. There's lots of Zelda bits, cool prints, hanging plants, and even this cool fox mask from Japan. I hang some lights in here too to give it a bit of a pop and I'm really happy with how it came out. For the left side of the desk, I've made use of the rose gold grids to hang little pictures and prints on, and of course, more baby metal stuff too. Finally, I picked up loads of frames and sorted through her massive print collection, trying to select a set that would go well together. I ended up using one wall entirely for the more tattoo themed ones, and for the rest I picked a cat theme which just flows around the entire room. I also bought this brand new one from Pi Hem Studio just to add a touch more Japanese vibes to the room. This one is my personal favourite. So there you have it, that rounds off the room entirely. While it's not had a huge upgrade in technology, it allowed me to really think about the feel and layout of a space and to consider its use from another person's perspective. I'd have loved to throw in a custom built PC in here or one of those new MacBooks with a nice mechanical keyboard and a huge monitor, but this room isn't for me, it's for Callie.